All right, so I'm pretty excited right now as uh, we've got this working. And I don't know whether you can see that the numbers for north coordinates and west coordinates are going to change as I move the globe. Or at least you can see something moving. And I've already checked and it, it, it encodes the 1024 increments. And then, of course, half that for this wiper going up and down here. So the next thing we need to do is uh, have Don, uh, the code genius, basically create some sort of little button. Well, I don't know, I pressed three of these and it says that's now on the equator and it's a uh, GMT, zero degrees. Press that, it sets it, and then it basically reconfigures the whole system to then understand where it is in terms of these components referencing a digital map of the world, which is kind of extraordinary that it's building a sphere and a coordinate system and understanding how to take all the references and the pulses from this. Um, the other thing I kind of love is at the minute you can see it's connected to a huge screen in the background, which is just so we can edit the code. But in reality, I can also just log in, get rid of all that, and then because Don has uh, basically been showing me how to use something called uh, SSH, or oh, I'm forgetting which now. <laughs> it's uh, I'm overexcited here. SSH it is. But basically that can log in through the Wi-Fi uh, of the system. But basically at the minute, this is really exciting that I've done all the wiring up and uh, haven't managed to blow up the Raspberry Pi despite having a second one as a backup. So really excited. It's basically now on with the design and getting it working. Um, but yeah, this is huge progress. Uh, I'm really pleased to see it.